One, One two, two, three. three. Okay. 20, 40, 60, 84. 20, 40, 60, 85. 20, 40, 60, 86. 20, 40, 60, 87. Neck fan. <laughs> okay. Show clock. A little pricey. Cool two box, twenty bucks. Yeah. Bug Zuka. Oh, here we go. Two dollars. <laughs> Freebie. Limit three per person. <laughs> may work, may not. Carry. Hmm. I don't think this is supposed to be in the freebie pile. Camp King, two dollars. Ma'am, I don't think this is supposed to be in the freebie pile over here. You got prices on it. Right, right, right. I was just telling you. Here, <laughs> I'm gonna look at that one anyway. <laughs> yeah, let me take a look at these two. Things so you can look. Charlotte, look at you, Matthew. But any questions I have, you're gonna get them. That's the counter lady. <laughs> Are you interested in video, old video games? I am interested in old video games. I have Atari cartridges in the house. Oh, and I have a whole bunch of handhelds I need to bring out. Oh, absolutely. I'll take a look. I'll tell you what, 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 are, you, what are you asking on this? Oh, you know what? I never did price it. How much yeah. are they worth? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Charlotte, can you Google this and see what they go for? It's brand new. <laughs> it, it's all right. That's fine. I'm, I'm not going to pay an online price for it, though. All right, Tiger Tail Toys. You know what it's worth? I don't. I don't. Whoop! I'm gonna break this dumb thing. Well, how do you get it off? There you go. Hold it up. How much are your calculators? Oh, it's got a price on them. A dollar each. I got it. Okay, thank you. Holy moly. Wow. Are you kidding me? One, two, unbelievable. Three. One, two, three. Four. <laughs> Five. Six. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. I don't think I want it, though. Okay. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you for the Where effort, though. Where did come from? It was right here on the shelf right here. Thank you. you see the juggling pins yep. down there? Yep. Thank you. Casio. eBay prices are over, but they got a dollar on me. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The handhelds are over here with this lady sorting them, and the Atari carts on the right. Awesome. Thank you and so much. Price, but that's the, um, like, worth of the uh huh. So what you want, and I will cut it down somewhat. Yeah. Too much, I think. I think too they're a little too lot. much for me. Well, they're, they're fine. They're, I mean, you know. <laughs> I will take these uh, 
Do you have a bag by any chance? Yeah, yeah. Um, right behind you in the green flower box. Okay, I'm gonna take these. It's a dollar a piece on the. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the nine of those. And then I got this, and that says two dollars. So I'm so I'm at eleven, 11 so far. <laughs> Do you have a limit? No. <laughs> Whatever I find, right? Okay. Whatever I find. Now this is a cord to one of those. Can I throw it in there? You want to what? It's to the TI calculator. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. Sure. All right, so there's 11. Wait, can, you can I leave it with you? <laughs> because I have the valuable ones inside. <laughs> really? Well, not valuable, but more than these. Really? Yeah. Like what kind? I you keep have... intriguing me with I what's know. inside. Yeah, these are the ones that are. See, I had them in a display case, so I know right, they must right, be worth right, something. Yeah. They're my late husband. TI 1200s. Casio, let's see. Hmm. Awesome. Game Gear. Since when have you not known me to be a curmudgeon? Oh, it's too bad. You know, oh, great idea. stuff. Yeah. I've never seen one of those before. I mean, I've looked them up, but I've never seen one. Hmm. Yeah. Me either. <laughs> My dad um, would occasionally like paint cars for people. Ma'am. I also have Game Boy cartridges from the original, and I think either Advance or DS. Well, and those, you know, <laughs> I, I love them all, but they're just a little much for me. But I mean, it's great stuff. Right, I, you, so if, you know, I just like wanted, if you're, you know, I just wanted did you have the Pokemon work. cartridges from those. Do you remember those? I think so. You mean the Game Boy one? The, yeah, the cartridges. I can I, I'll take a look at them if you if you haven't priced or. Backgammon set, $3. Those are marbled. I'll probably make money on it. Magnetic and marbled. They complete. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm going to grab that. I usually like to pay a dollar. Look at that. Zelda notebook. That's a moleskin. Pokemon. I'm gonna get that. I will grab these for sure. Where am I? 11, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Um, let me see if I have Pokemon. Here. What else you got? I think I remember yeah. one. That's 11 in that bag, and then whatever yeah. that is, right? I think I remember seeing some sort of Pokemon. Pokemon. Special Pikachu edition. Oh man. <laughs> that takes me back. Yeah. Yeah. All the way back. Ooh, to the 90s even. Yes, sir. I have handhelds here too and Atari this cartridges behind us. Oh, yeah. There it is. So what are you asking on? Well, the prices are here, but like I said, these are the ones I looked online that people have right, sold on right, eBay. Right. So I'll give you a deal. A little bit of a deal. <laughs> How much was it? 35. So special edition must be kind of. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is. So I'll give it to you for 20. Amazing stuff. But. Mm. Thank you. I collected it all myself. <laughs> <laughs> if I bought, uh, would you give me half of your listed price if I bought a bunch of them? How much is a bunch? I don't know. 10 or 12. Well, it depends because there's there's some that are five dollars and some that are you know. $35. Right. Prices. Jeez. Yeah, it's just hard for me to pay it. <laughs> Duplicates. Zelda. The auction houses are in it, in it with the appraisal companies. The appraisal companies are appraising the games high and then buying them and then selling them at a higher price. The auction yeah. houses that they own. So. All right, I'm gonna just do something crazy, and if you don't want to do it, that's fine. Okay, did you add I them give, up? Oh, these no, are duplicates, No, I'm gonna do right? something different. Are they these, duplicates? These are duplicates here. I'm gonna offer you $500 for all of it. What, this? Yes. And the games? No, this. Okay. Um, if you wanna do that, I'll, I'll bump it up to 700. I don't know what the, wait, I do know what the total of that is. <laughs> I know it's not what you're asking, but it is everything and you won't have to do any work online. I know what you mean. So. All the handhelds. All of this? It? No. All of all that and this. Seven hundred dollars. 
I gotta go to the bank, but I'll get the 700 in cash. What were the games? I had a, a total on the games. You don't mean the Ataris, too. You well, just mean the well, handhelds. Let me just do this. No, I mean all of it. I mean oh. every single thing here and these, ga and these games right here in this stuff. Oh, I mean, it's, I mean, you could get that money if you're going to individually list sell them all them and, and sell all them that. and ship them. So yeah. it's, it's just up, you know. All right. <laughs> $700? $700 right. for... Now, let's set aside I already owe you about. this, okay? I, I'm talking all of it. Plus these. So these right here. Okay, let's put it inside. And these, these three boxes right here. All and right. then I'm going to come back. I'm going to buy these two. Okay. So I owe you whatever that is plus the $700. Okay. Is let's that good? Let's put inside so no one can take Beautiful. it. Beautiful. All right. You guys just missed out. Wait, <laughs> this guy wants one. <laughs> all right. I will be back in uh, in about 10 minutes, okay? Maybe maybe a little longer because the bank's about eight nine minutes away. I think the nearest ATM is like maybe Kroger, and I think yeah, they, they won't, charge you for it. That's fine. <laughs> it's okay. I'll I'll help you put them in here, and then we'll get out of here. Okay. And this was ours too, so I'll put it back there. All right, I will go get the cash. Ugh. There's one more, and then I'll see you in a few minutes. Wow, this one got crowded in a hurry. Okay. He wasn't here before. Man, this one. Your sale got crowded in a hurry. Yeah. yeah. We've had a lot of people <laughs> ask about those. <laughs> well, I'm going to count it out to her here to make sure she knows. So, you remember the other bag that was here? Yeah. So, it was 18 total. The other bag was 18 total. Do you okay, want to go was. through that or okay. you. You don't have 18 so, more dollars? Oh, of course I do. <laughs> of course I do. So here oh, we go. I'm going to count it out to you so you know. Okay. Timmy, get out of here, man. Oh, here oh. You, <laughs> you guys do know each other. Timmy, all right. Now you wanted ready? the Atari cartridges yeah, too, yeah, right? Yeah, all, okay. Yeah. Here we go. One, One two, two, three. three. Okay. 20, 40, 60, 80, 4. 20, 40, 60, 85. 20, 40, 60, 86. 20, 40, 60, 80, 7, 720. Awesome. Good, no change. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. No, I'm, I'm glad it came back. The other dude, Tim, was really trying to get me to... Was it Tim? Yeah. Tim, get out of here, brother. <laughs> you guys are in cover. <laughs> you wouldn't have paid what I paid. Yes, I would. You wouldn't have paid what I paid. Yes, I would. I knew what they were. I knew what they were. I knew what they were. <laughs> you, oh, you don't need to help me, dude. That's very kind of you. Hey, man, you win some, you lose some. You are the man. All right, well, look, my viewers are falling in love with you right now because you're so nice. Don't spend it all. No. <laughs> what do you got? You need the number? Pocket PC. IPAC. There was a palm in there, too. Look at that pocket PC. Pocket PC. And I don't see you the model do? number. You know me. I'm here when it opens, brother. I'm coming to see you. <laughs> so I'm gonna really make you mad. They had, she had ten TI eighty three and eighty four calculators in there for a dollar a piece. Did you get them? Yeah. Okay. Crazy. There was a Palm. It's a Sharp Z Memo Master. Some of these have value to them. Some of them don't. Very good. This one goes for about 17. Yeah. I don't know if you want to deal with it or not. I probably didn't go off of that, but all of it. For all of it, yeah, it's probably a good idea. What is that? Oh, oh that's a phone case. Yeah. I'm like, that's a Game Boy. Yeah, I may also cut off all of it. Well, you better do it. Here, you been doing that? Look, Olympus. Let me look that one up. Infinity right. Junior. What you been doing, Tom? I missed some jewelry today, some silver. You missed Titus it? You got it. At the flea? Yeah, Titus. At no, y'all awesome. say. That's why I'm late getting over here. All right, so here you go. Six and nine bucks. You got it. So make her an offer on it. I got my treasure today. You get your. Hey man, how are you doing? Good. Good. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. It's a former student, so they they like to see you. And tell me your name. Irvin Putney. Nice He's a pain in the butt, y'all. Don't let don't let the nice face fool you. See what I'm saying. These are pretty good. I don't think these are the best, but that brand is great. One dollar though. 
I'll pick it up. He's careful. Tim is careful. <laughs> I don't know. It's strange, isn't it? One dollar. He just, he's a grab bag kind of guy, you know? He's like, yeah, I'll just, I'll well, buy it and see what happens. Us. <laughs> good luck to you. Right. Thank you all so I'm much. Yeah. Sure. Thank I you, think that's cool, too. Y'all nice, have a wonderful day, nice and looks like you. you're doing great business. <laughs> we'll do, for sure. Thank you. <laughs> Whatever I'm doing. Love it. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Commonwealth Cabin. So usually, if you watch this show, you know I run comps at the end. Well, we just have way, way too much to run comps on. If I were to look all these up and show solds for every single one, I would be doing it till Christmas. So I decided to do it a little bit different today, and I hope you enjoy this way as well. I have to say, we got off to a slow start. It was already just about 9 o'clock when we rolled up to this sale, and I get out early. So we had already been to a bunch of sales and really hadn't done particularly well at all. And when I got to this sale, we found a few things and I was feeling pretty good. And then she started pulling out all this other stuff. First thought that came to my mind was, this has to be a reseller. I actually think what the case is, was her late husband was the reseller. So whenever you have that situation, you know, it's kind of difficult. This person probably knows the value. Well, they definitely knew the value of this stuff. The stuff was priced pretty close to eBay prices already. That makes it kind of hard at a garage sale. A lot of people are already looking at it as she pulled it out for me and nobody was buying. I'm sure she could have sold quite a bit of it at that, well, not quite a bit of it, some of it at those prices. I was pretty disheartened to be perfectly honest with you to see all that great stuff. It's what we dream of and the price just wasn't right. But I stayed at it, I stayed persistent and to her credit, she worked with me and I appreciated that very much. Now, if you're a reseller and you see this stuff out there, you know we're going to make money. But what I've done here is I know the value of a lot of these things already. I don't have to look them up. I already, already know. And then on top of that, on the items that I did know, I was able to do comps really in my mind, because I know what particular games sell for already, to see if the rest of the prices that I don't know were online or not. That being said, it was pretty darn easy for me to eventually come up with the number that I gave her and feel comfortable about it. All right, let's go ahead and get into the comps. Some of these things, I think I found all of this stuff before we even started talking about these games over here. So I just loved it. You know, when you go and you see a box full of calculators for a dollar a piece, and then you start seeing TI-83s, we're good. So t there's some TI-83s in here. I feel like there's one more missing here. And now there's six of them, that's right. TI-83s, I think two of them, two TI-83+, plus, TI-82, and a TI-85, and a Casio. So the TI-83 pluses are obviously the good ones, you know, 30, 40 bucks. The TI-83s are 25 bucks, just going off my experience selling them. Uh, this Casio, I don't think I've sold that one. I might have sold it a long time ago. My guess is the Casio versions are probably 10 plus shipping. And maybe the TI-82 is probably down there like 15. But nonetheless, still a lot of good profit at a dollar a piece right there. These I couldn't resist. I've sold these before. If they're still selling for the same price, they're around 10 bucks plus shipping. Not great, but you know, for a buck, you can't resist. I've never seen this one. I picked it up. I don't know what it's worth. My guess is probably about the same, probably around $10 plus shipping. And of course, I picked up backgammon set. This is actually a pretty nice one. I've sold this one. I, I usually sell it off in two parts. I sell it off just the pieces and then I sell off the dice and the cups. And I, believe it or not, I'm going to make close to $20 profit when I do that. So pretty good. This is, what does it say? Camp King? That little, little uh, like inlay almost. Really kind of cool look to it. And my guess is this is probably a $10 to $15 knife plus shipping. I just thought it looked cool. So I grabbed it couple more things over here i don't know i don't know what these are worth to be honest with you but my guess is we'll probably get 15 bucks for that pokemon sealed is my guess and this right here the, the moleskin i think that's how you pronounce it. it's how i used to pronounce it i've seen these before i don't think i've seen this version of zelda but my guess is this one's probably 30 bucks 40 bucks maybe i'm not sure we'll have to do a comp on it but it's pretty cool it does have a little nick in the plastic but everything is brand spanking new all right i'm gonna talk to you for just a second and give you an idea i started comping these out and as i was comping them out i'm like this is gonna take me forever so i decided i was just gonna comp out enough to cover our 700 dollars price for the video games and then give you an idea of how much we're gonna make on this all right so i started right here 
with the Game Boy Advance games. Actually, I take it back. I started with the Atari games. A lot of times, Atari games just aren't worth money. They're just not worth that much. And my initial, when I thought when I was looking at these, because you see how they got the prices on them? I'm like, that seems a little high. And when I started comping them out, they are just a little high on some of these games. They're not worth that much, even on eBay. But they're close. They're close. Like, I think this one's probably a $35 to $40 game, for instance. But there were some good games as far as 2600 games goes. I mean, this one right here is a good one. See, there's the price, 36 I don't know if it goes for that. I think I comped it out at around 34 or 5 But it's in good shape. Maybe it won't go for that price. Pitfall 2, Star Trek. There's a few good ones in here for sure. I don't know what that one is. Spitfire Attack. I mean, they're not terrible Atari games. Some of them aren't great, but they're not bad. This, believe it or not, I couldn't believe it when I comped out every single one of these things. We're looking at over $300 in Atari games, which I was really surprised. I thought maybe this would be worth around $100. So I was pretty happy there. It didn't take me long to get to our $700 number. And we got there with these and with these and put us a little over to cover fees and whatnot. So here you go. Here's just a few of them. Mega Man 5, three different Super Mario 3 games. I hear the cats outside. I better go check. All of you video game folks out there, you know that the cat... When I saw Castlevania... I saw two of them, and there's two different Castlevanias. This one, I believe, is the better of the two, I recall. And then there's that one. These are, I mean, that's, I don't know, $80, $90 game? Maybe $40? Three Mario 3s. Mega Man, I think, is a $45 game. Maybe $40. There's two of these. These are $30 games. $40, $15, $20, something like that for these. So add all that up and throw that in there, and we're at our $700 bucks already. Just right there. And look at all this. So it's going to be some work, but we're going to make an awful lot of money on this. And these are not these are no slouch games here, too. It's not like we're just throwing in Mario, Donkey Kong. Can you see that? Sonic 3. Donkey, Donkey Kong Country 2. Super Mario World 2. You know, there's a few of them that, I mean, obviously they're not all going to be great. Dr. Mario. Rugrats Go Wild. I can't tell what that is. March of the Penguin. So there's some that aren't great. Yoshi's Island, there's another Mega Man, Metroid, Mega Man, Donkey Kong 3, Crash Bandicoot there, some Disney game, Connect 4, so, I mean, there's good ones in here and bad ones, Pets, there's, there's not a good one, but, you know, I have the Beholder, so, you get an idea of what we've got right here, and then, of course, we didn't even get over here, this is what, this was what I comped out in my mind first, because I know, I've sold that game not very long ago, it's a $50 game. And I think they, she had that on her list as about a $50 game, $45 game, something like that. So it's easy for me to calculate out the games and say, all right, $1,700, $1,800 worth of games. I'm very comfortable at $500, bucks, easy. And, you know, she could have gone up from there a little bit, and, and I'd have still been comfortable. Zelda. I haven't even gone through this one yet, y'all. You're looking at it as I'm looking at it. Mario Golf. Golf. Buster Boys. So it says Best Buster Brothers, Donkey Kong, James Bond, so, what does that say, Duplicates, Showdown, these are in cases over here, I want to go through these, Super Mario Land, so you, I mean, you can get an idea of the value here, we are going to do, there's more value than I thought, the initial value was around, Final Fantasy, was around uh, 1700 bucks in my mind. You know, but there's a lot of work and fees, so I want to triple my money on this stuff. Super Mario Land, look at that. Man, these, some of these games are good. Tetris. Metroid. Donkey Kong again. So, anyway, you get the idea. So that explains that $500 initial offer, knowing that we're going to make three times our money. That was the That was the thought. So when she started talking about these games right here, I had to do a quick calculation in my head based on what I knew was there. And I underestimated that as well. So we offered 200. So we're going to do really, really well on these games right here. The other thing I think of when I see a box like that, and you know it's a reseller, is you know sometimes people take the games that don't work and they make their own little pile and they try and sell them off in garage sales. So you kind of got to gauge against that just in case. That is not the case here. We're good to go. These are no notorious for not working. So I'm going to have to test these out. And we'll, we'll see. But I mean, right there with these three, if they're all working, we're not quite to getting our $200 back. 
but we're close. So, you know, throw in that and we're there and we're going to make profit off all this stuff. So, let me see. We got some pretty good stuff here. There's the original. Those are going. You know how many of these I sold back in the day? I used to buy these things all the time and sell them for next to nothing. And now they're worth quite a bit. So, there's a pink DS or red. There we go. Right, that's a nice one. Game Boy Color. These two were in a separate box. So that might mean they're not working. But who the heck knows. Game Boy Advance. No cord. This was cool. Right here. I still haven't looked this thing up. i got to figure that out. See how much it's worth. I've never... I've seen these. But I've never sold one before. This would be good. Love it. Easy shippers. For sure. Little bubble. And we'll, uh, we'll roll. Hey, I just want to say thanks for joining us. I haven't had a yard sale haul like this in a long time. It was awesome of that lady to work with us. I'm excited about selling this stuff off. We're going to make some money. It'll keep us busy for a while on into the fall. Hopefully some of you pick up these games out of the store if you enjoy that kind of thing. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button as well. And if you want to see what we're selling this stuff for, come on over into the shed over here into the Commonwealth Flipper channel and check us out over here and you can see the prices we're getting for this stuff. We appreciate you joining us and we can't wait to see you next time.